Hello, this is Keith Graham from CodoSip. I'm going to go through two possible causes of a error that you might receive while building your cycle accurate processor project. Now, I've set up uh, two different conditions in my assignment. So I'm going to actually generate my uh, CA model. You can see my CA mo model has attempted to build and it's finished and it actually says build failed because I got two instances of this failure. So the failure is not declared in this scope. You see there's more than actually two error messages because if I have this type of fault for each instance that I have this fault, I will get an error message. So once again, that's why I have multiple uh, fault messages for this signal IF next PC because I use it in multiple places in my project. Um, and then I also have this other uh, signal. Uh, it's a local signal, so it doesn't have an S or, a, or an R for register, and it is not declared in the scope as well. So once again, sometimes to get the hyperlinks to work, you have to switch to a different tab uh, in your uh, um, CodeSip Studio, and then you go back to the um, task generate SDK. Now I'm going to go to the hyperlink for the first one, uh, uh, signal IF next uh, PC. So I go up to the hyperlink, which will take me to the actual file, which is the instruction fetch pipeline, line 44. And I can see that here's my signal and it's not declared. It's just like a C program. If I don't declare a variable such as int um, i, for example, if i is not declared, it's not, you know, it's, I can't use it. So if it's a S uh, that's being not declared in the scope or an R, most likely the issue is you aren't, uh, you have not declared it in your cycle accurate resource tab. So I'm going to go to um, my, my file explorer, open up my project, and open up my CA resources. And since it's an instruction fetch signal, it's going to be up close to the top Part where I want to add it because I actually have it. Uh, the first part is uh, IF stage, the decode, execute, memory, and write back. I actually have it in sequence of my pipes. So if I scroll down here, here's where I'm going to start defining my all my signal names. And this is where I will, will have to define my signal name for my SIF next PC. I don't, I'm not going to have to retype it here because all I did was previously comment it out. So now I've added back the signal. So not declared means that the variable, the signal just like a variable needs to be declared. The S or an R, you most likely need to move, go back into your CA resource and add it there. Now my other uh, signal here, which is um, cache PROT, I'm going to go to its hyperlink. And right here, this is my, 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 um, local signal. Once again, it's a local signal because I don't have an S on it. And I'm going to go up and add it. So I'm going to just scroll up to the top of my uh, of event. And oh, I just noticed that I misspelled it. Up here in my, uh, uh, what I did to find it, or I declared it as HPROT. And down here, it's PROT. So I'm going to correct my misspelling. And now I'm going to save all my files and rebuild it to show you that I've uh, solved my errors. So once again, the most common errors when you get uh, not declared in the scope are either you have not uh, declared it or you have a typo. So just make sure you check both if it's declared uh, correct the typo, and if it's not, you're going to have to declare it. And my project is being built. And you can see that I'm past the, the point of where those errors would occur. So I've solved my issue. So hopefully this will help. If this video helped you solve this problem, can you please um, subscribe to this channel so that you'll be informed of other videos like this when they are published. Thank you, and have a great day.